Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I'll tell you how to use Xilinx software for writing a VHDL code. So to start with, I'll take simple example of half adder. Very first step is file, new project, project name. So I'll write simple name half underscore adder 2. Next, here after simulation, we can download our VHDL code into CPLD device or FPGA device. So, based on the available device, you can choose family or different CPLD and FPGA families are given here. Then, their device type, package type, like plastic cord, then speed, everything is given. But if you are going to simulate only, then you can keep these default settings. Synthesis tool, XST. Simulator, here I have multiple options. Among those options, I have selected ISE simulator. Next, new source. Here, I am writing code in VHDL. So, I will select VHDL module. File name, half underscore adder 4. Next, here you can change your architect architecture's name. Here default name is behavioral. I'll write code in data flow modeling. So I'll write data flow here. In half adder, how many inputs we have? 2. A, comma, B. And the direction is in. We have two outputs, sum and carry. Direction is out. In some cases, like shift registers or counters, output of one flip-flop is connected to input of second. In that case, we can choose in out mode then if we have our input has two bits or more than two bits then we can choose bus and here for two bits what i'll write msb is one lsb is zero so it is one down to zero for seven bits i'll write six down to zero but here in case of half adder both inputs and outputs are single bit inputs and outputs so i'll not select bus next finish next next finish and this is our VHDL code. Here you can see .vhd file is generated. Now you will get library files automatically, NTT. And your job is to write an architecture. For half adder, sum is assigned as A, XOR, B. And carry is assigned as A, and B semicolon save and first step is synthesis synthesis is process where it converts these this code into netlist it means into hardware synthesize XST check syntax no error so you'll get tick if any error is present let's see or oh, semicolon is missing check syntax and here in this window you will see where the error is present and what error is present unexpected end expecting semicolon so I'll put semicolon again I'll save this code and then again I'll go for check syntax no errors next step is view RTL schematic So this is black box representation of our circuitry, A and B are inputs, sum and carrier outputs, double click on this and this is carry is A and B but sum is A XOR B, XOR is derived git, equation for XOR is A bar B plus A B bar. So you need to double click on this rectangle and here you can see this is A bar B plus A B bar. Double click outside this rectangle and you will get your RTL schematic. So this is RTL schematic of half adder. Come back to half adder. Then here you can see view synthesis report. In this report, check the final report. So this is final report. Here you can see how many basic elements are used. In FPGA, our chosen device is FPGA. So, 
the summary is in terms of lookup tables if chosen device is cpld summary will be in terms of and gates and or gates so first step is check syntax next is synthesis report rtl schematic now synthesis process is over after that simulation so select sources for behavioral simulation then for simulation you need to generate test vectors so here in case of half adder test vectors are what values we can apply to our inputs so we can apply 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 to our input so our test vectors are 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 so right click on your dot vhd file new source here we have two options for generation of test vectors one is vhdl test bench and the other one is test bench waveform so i'll start with simple test bench waveform and then i'll explain you how to write vhdl test bench also test bench waveform file name i'll write name ha underscore test bench waveform tbw next next and finish a is not my clock it is combinational circuit so i'll select last option finish you'll get this waveform now here you can set values for a and b so i'll keep a and b 0 0 initially then a 0 b 1 upper level is 1 lower level is 0 1 0 1 1 1 again 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 0 0 again save this waveform and here in this window you will see the tbw file processes isc simulator inside this simulate behavioral model and this is our final waveform simulation markers single marker like choose so here you can see a and b are zero zero so sum is zero and carry is also zero select this uh, marker and drag it for zero one sum one carry zero for one zero again sum one carry zero for one one sum zero carry one and it will go on repeating so in this way we can simulate our vhdl code other ways again by writing a vhdl test bench select your dot vhd file right click new source now select vhdl test bench h a underscore test bench tb next next and finish here you'll get one more vhdl code for test bench see here these are library and uh, library file and packages this is entity now here you can see in case of test bench entity is empty because in entity we define how many inputs our system has how many outputs it has but in entity what we are doing we are only generating test vectors for already uh, available circuit so we are not generating any new circuit so entity is empty and our main entity or main circuit will act as component so here half header underscore 4 is acting as a component and here you will have to write a vhdl code for write up for generation of test bench so here i'll write before here you you will find one uh, statement place stimulus here after that you can write your code so i'll write here a is assigned as 0 semicolon b is assigned as 0 first condition semicolon wait for 100 nanoseconds it means a is 0 b is 0 for first 100 nanoseconds see my a and b both are single bit so i have written it in single inverted comma if number of bits are two or more than two then i'll have to use double inverted comma we must mention all test vectors 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 after writing all test vectors 
next step is here you will get the dot vhd file for test bench next step is select xilinx isc simulator under that i'll check syntax for my code so first i'll save this and then check syntax after syntax check next is simulate behavioral model our previous simulation is open so it will ask us okay compilation failed i'll save it again and i'll simulate it again and now this is our simulation waveform so select simulation markers single marker for 0 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 For zero one, sum one carry zero. For one zero, sum one carry zero, and for one one, sum zero carry one. Here you can see for first hundred nanoseconds, inputs are zero zero. For next hundred nanoseconds, uh, they are zero one. For next hundred nanoseconds, one zero, and then one one. As per our code, for hundred nanoseconds we kept them zero zero. Then for next hundred zero one, and so on. So in this way we can. simulate our vhdl code so there are two ways for simulation one is by using test bench waveform and other is by writing a vhdl code for test benches so in this way we can use xilinx software for writing a vhdl code for synthesis for simulation after simulation next step is downloading of our vhdl code into available xilinx or oh, sorry uh, uh, for uh, Mm, cpld or fpga device and for that we need to go for implement design translate map plus and route and then generate programming file and then configure device in this way we can download our code thank you so much for watching